We talked about layers and how they work, but we spend most of our time placing them in our artboard. So selecting them and moving them around our canvas is the thing that we are going to do most of the time. Let's say that we want to move an element within this artboard and that element is this profile picture. So I have my select tool activated. I click on the element in order to move it, but as you can see, it's not selected. The whole group is selected and that group is top as you can see over there. So let's do a double click and then our image, the profile picture is selected. So one click, the whole group is selected. A double click and element within the group is selected. So we can move this element by just clicking and dragging it around however we want. Let's put it here for now. And as you can see, XD help us with the spacing and the placement of our elements. Let's put it here. Sometimes the selecting process would be annoying a little bit because we might have groups within the groups. Here, for example, let's say I want to replace the number 173. So in order to select it first, I'm going to click here, the group is selected, double click, then again, the group reviews within the group top is selected, then again, a double click, and right now, the text that I want is selected and I can move it around and, for example, let's say place it here. So that's just like five clicks over there in order to just select one element. But there is a faster way and better way to do this operation. So let's change the placement of this number here. And in order to do that, we just hover on the object that we want to select and we hold down command in Macintosh or control in Windows. And as you can see, if I just click right now, that number is directly selected with just one click. I can click and drag it down here. All right. So that's the better way. That's the faster way to select elements within the groups. Moving an element around XD's canvas is so fun since XD helps you all the way with the positioning of your elements. And as you can see right now, I can select this text and then move it around and it snaps. For example, right now it's in the middle it snaps to the middle. I can see the spacing between different elements and my elements. I can see that if the spacing is the same here, if they are aligned or not, and stuff like that, which makes it really perfect to work with XT. Remember we talked about grids? Let's turn them on and see what role they play in placing our elements. I'm going to select the artboard and activate the layout grid. We have the default that we defined and we have our columns here. Let's zoom in a little bit in order for you to see better. So right now, as we move, for example, let's say this element around the artboard, if I come here, it would snap to the grid. So that's the way that grids help us design. It would snap here in order to have a better design for ourselves. I'm going to, I'm sorry, for example, move this one here. I'm going to select this and put it down and do stuff like that. All right, so it's very, very helpful, the things that we can do with grids. Moving layers around and placing them in your artboard is so fun and since XD gives you so much hint, it's a very easy thing to do. You'll be doing this a lot and it will be fun, trust me. Now we have a full concept about every basic thing in Adobe XD. It's time to take it to the next level and start working with our designing tools. We are going to start with a text tool in the next two videos. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to catch up with the course. Thank you.